Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is going to be a different type of video. It's going to be a getting to know me video. So this video is specifically geared toward getting to know me a little bit, learning a little bit more about me because I feel like, you know, I sit in front of the camera all the time. You guys kind of get to know me but kind of not really. So getting to know me, number one, I am a mother, which I think a lot of people know from tuning into my channel. And I have two children. Um, one is two. He is a little boy. He is two, almost two and a half, actually. And then I have a daughter. She's actually going to be four months old. My daughter is four months old as of September 1st which that just feels like it went by so fast. And being a mom is such a blessing, like the biggest blessing ever. Like, and now I have it. And it's sometimes it's really surreal. And there, I'm not going to lie, there are like super hard times, um, especially for me. And then other days are, you know, easy breezy, easy breezy, lemon squeezy. Like, I guess point number two, going along with the whole like mom theme, that a lot of people really don't know about me and that I really, I mean, I don't express on my YouTube as much and maybe I should because it's a, a platform that I'm like super passionate about and it's postpartum depression and anxiety. Um, what a lot of people really don't know about me is that when I had my son, I had really bad postpartum issues and I had postpartum depression, postpartum anxiety and it's a huge platform that I like really try to make moms aware of and let them know like it's okay to tell people you're not okay and it is okay to ask for help when you need it. It's okay to feel burnt out and asking for help and postpartum issues are what I dealt with when I had my son and since having my daughter they haven't been as drastic but women still get them. It's just, you know, if you're if you've had postpartum with the first one, you're more likely to have postpartum issues with the second one. So I I have dealt with postpartum issues, postpartum depression, postpartum anxiety. And like I said, it's a huge platform that I have been trying to bring a heck of a lot more awareness to. I actually have a blog. It's called The First Time Mommy Diaries, and I started it um, when my son was probably four months old, and I was noticing a whole bunch of other mothers, first-time mothers, dealing with postpartum things like me, and it was just like common questions and things that I had found the answers to that might help other moms as well. So I started posting and writing about, you know, just different things about life and being a mom in general and how it's okay to take time for yourself. It's okay to ask your family for help. Don't feel guilty when you ask for help and like things along that nature. And then also, you know, posting about like finding who you are again, because being a mom, you sometimes can lose yourself, like finding a hobby. My hobby is, you know, YouTube, huge platform that I try to make people aware of and, you know, blog about and talk about and, you know, give advice and be there for other women dealing with these issues. Point number three, I actually went to school for journalism. Since then, I've actually used that degree <laughs> more in marketing than anything. And along with that degree, the University of Indianapolis is a great, great, great school. It's a Division II school. and the one thing that I loved about my education there is that I wasn't just required to learn about writing. I actually took other communication classes like video um, production and, you know, learning how to shoot with a professional camera, like a legit professional camera. I also learned how to edit in Avid, which is um, a video editing program. Obviously not what I use for YouTube because it's obscenely expensive and I just don't have the knickknacks of it down. But I also learned how to be a photographer when I was in college. It was something that was sparked in me my senior year of high school. And then I actually started taking photos for the student newspaper and then eventually for Inside UND Magazine. And from there, I just kind of like grew and grew and grew. And I've been a photographer for 
nine years now just doing either freelance work or portraits or commercial work and it's all integrated itself into my you know marketing expertise because I can do product photography for commercial use and along with like being a journalist and everything I also learned more about graphic design because the division two school that I went to they didn't have you know a separate graphic design team to design their newspaper you the editor of the news like of your section you were the graphic designer point number four kind of like leading off from that one I am a photographer and my actual page on Facebook is SLR Photography and Design and I have a website completely dedicated to my photography, like pushing my photography, booking people, weddings, engagements, seniors, babies, like you name it and I do it as well. Like I have a different point of view from what everybody has said is that my, my point of view is so different. Like that literally I am a photojournalistic photographer. I capture unposed, realistic, raw moments that like a lot of people just don't get. It's what sets me apart from everybody else that is in my area. So number five, six, something like that. In any case, um, I am actually from Indiana. I'm a Hoosier <laughs> and I, sometimes you maybe you guys can tell that I'm from the Midwest I, I don't know I definitely feel a difference because I, I grew up in northern Indiana and now I live in upstate New York they say soda here instead of pop so when I say pop they're like what are you talking about I'm like soda like pop like I want a coke like I want pop pap <laughs> and they're like what is pap and I'm like okay I have a little bit of a little twang in my voice sometimes I mean you can kind of tell but not really I think my brother you can actually tell more of and like I used to actually get teased a lot in one of my first jobs that I got here in New York and the girls because I was a manager for Plato's closet and they would always I'd be like hey can one of you guys go cash and one of the girls is like you know I can tell you're from Indiana because the way you say cash it's like I have a really long A sound when I say, can you go cash? They would always just, you know, make fun of me about the fact that, like, I have a little bit of an Indiana twang, even though I'm from northern Indiana. I grew up an hour from Notre Dame. I guess point number, I think we're on six or seven now, I really don't know. I am the daughter of a vet. I am the granddaughter of a vet, and I am a great-granddaughter of a vet. That gives me so much pride to say, like I have tears kind of like come into my eyes. Um, so my great-grandfather was a vet, he was an Air Force veteran, and he was my, my dad's grandfather, my, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, and then my mom's dad he was a vet he actually retired he was actually a pastor as well but he was a vet in the air force and then my dad he was also a vet he was in the air force as well and it gives me great like pride to know that my family has I come from generations of people who have served our country and defended our country I come from a very big family of veterans so they have all defended our country very well I mean actually all of them are still alive even my great-grandfather he's still alive he's now he's a great-great-grandpa because of you know my son and my daughter he's a great-great-grandpa so I guess another thing that a lot of people don't really know about me except for people that I went to high school with. Um, I was in the color guard. I guess that's where my passion, it kind of is where my passion for makeup came from. Um, it kind of stemmed from that but not really. So to kind of give you guys a little bit of backstory on makeup in particular and how it like all feeds into what I do now. So my mom was a cosmetologist and she had her cosmetology license for the longest time, like ever since I was a little kid. So my mom was a cosmetologist and when I was old enough to learn about makeup, my mom taught me everything about makeup. She taught me, I mean, even at the time in, I want to say the 2000s when I was a teenager and she was teaching me these things, half the makeup techniques that we have now 
they weren't applied then. So like there's some things that I have actually taught my mom in return, but she's the one who taught me basics of makeup. Everything I learned basically is from my mom. Um, even when I was in high school, like I was in the color guard, we would do more like theatrical looking makeup. And my mom was the one who taught me a lot about doing makeup like that as well. And then when we would do prom, I would always, always, I always did my own prom makeup. So like everything started there and I used to do makeup on other people even then. Um, I really hope you guys like this video. It's a little bit different kind of opening up and telling you guys a little bit about myself and um, I feel like I don't really do that a lot. I do more just like this is me testing makeup, showing you makeup, talking about makeup and I wanted to come to you guys on a different level and show you guys a little bit more about me and tell you more about me and you know who I am outside of you know this teeny tiny little square rectangle of YouTube and just kind of show you guys. Um, so I hope you guys are excited for the things to come on my channel. I know I am. And I'm not really going to divulge to you guys any secrets, anything like that. But this, this is my channel. So I hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys subscribe. If you guys like this type of video, let me know. Because it's kind of nice to sit in front of the camera and kind of just like talk to you guys and you know kind of tell you a little bit about me. If you guys want to hear more about my platform on postpartum issues like depression and anxiety, leave a comment below. Um, it's something I am so passionate about. Something that I just, I feel like more women need to become aware of, that more families need to become aware of. And I just feel like that's it. That's that's what's supposed to drive me. Like my one good thing that I'm supposed to do in this world is postpartum, like talking about it and getting awareness out there. Yes, people know about postpartum issues. They know about postpartum depression and anxiety, but some people, a lot of people don't accept it. And it really is a crippling thing for mothers, especially after they have this baby. And it's, it's insane um, to think about what we go through when we have our children and then what we go through almost immediately after having our children and how our like everything is just out of whack out of balance this is why women get postpartum among so many other reasons and like I said it's my platform it's it's the one thing that I I like to I don't really, I mean, I talk about it and I try to give advice in any way possible, especially with how I cope with it myself and things that I do to help me cope with it, which it's gotten so much better. But then it's also, you know, realizing when you have it and when you need help. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out other videos, and I will see you later. Bye.